Hello. Today we're going to discuss logging into Linmot drives over Ethernet. This feature is supported on a number of Linmot drives with field bus interfaces. Although logging in via RS-232 is preferred as it provides a more reliable connection, logging in over Ethernet can be a convenient way to access the information on the drives on your network. To begin, we're going to go to our computer's network and sharing center. Next, we're going to go to the device properties of the device that is connected to the drive via Ethernet. In the IPv4 settings of this device, we're going to configure the properties. We're going to select the computer's IP address and make sure it's on the same network as the Linmot drive. By default, Linmot drives are on the 192.168.1 network a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0 is recommended. Logging in over Ethernet is supported when connected to your drive's real-time Ethernet port. By default, the last digit of the IP address is set via the S1 and S2 hex switches on the drive. Note that if all of these switches are set to zero, the drive will attempt to attain an IP address using DHCP. If no servers respond on the network, it will automatically assign itself an address using IPv4 link local addressing, known as APIPA on Windows. For this reason, it is recommended to switch one of these switches to 1 so that the drive will have a fixed IP on the 192.168.1 network. Consult your drive's installation guide for more information. To log into the drive, open Linmot Talk and navigate to File, Login slash Open Offline, select Ethernet as the configuration interface, and Scan to scan the network. Make sure that the interface that is connected to your Linmot drive is selected and hit Continue. If you see the drive that you're attempting to connect to, you can hit Login All to log into all drives on the network. Note that this method can be used to log into multiple drives at once. If you'd like to specify the IP address of your drive, you can do so in the Ethernet IP settings. By default, the IP address is set via the S1 and S2 hex switches, as I mentioned before. However, if you like, you can select static by IP configuration in order to determine the IP address with these parameters. DHCP is also available. If you change the drive's IP address, the firmware must be restarted for these changes to take effect. The Mutok will still be searching for the drive at its old IP address, so you must log in again using the steps outlined earlier. Linmot E-Series drives are also equipped with a config Ethernet port, which, like the real-time port, can be used to configure the drive, and, unlike the real-time port, can be used to install firmware without the need for an RS-232 converter. By default, the IP address of this port is set via DHCP or a PIPA if no DHCP server is found. If you'd like to change the IP address of this config port, you can do so in the parameter tree of Linmot Talk. There are several options available for determining the IP address. If you'd like to do it via parameter selection, you can select Use Static IP Address and enter the IP address, Netmask, and Gateway using these parameters here. If you're having trouble logging in over Ethernet, there are a few troubleshooting steps you can take. If you know the IP address of the drive, you can use Windows Command Prompt to attempt to ping it. I'm going to attempt to ping a drive that I know is at the IP address 192.168.1.5. I can see that I'm connected to the drive and I'm getting a response. If I'm still having trouble logging into the drive, there may be issues with my firewall settings. The firewall settings can be found in Windows Control Panel. Go to Allow an App Through Windows Firewall, find Linmot Talk, and make sure it is allowed access to all network types. Then attempt to log into the drive once more. 
If you're using an Allen Bradley PLC and have links installed, you can use RS links to scan your network to see if the, you see the drive. This can be useful if you're not sure what the IP address of the drive is. If you are unable to get the drive to show up, try connecting it directly to your computer, bypassing everything else on your network. If you're still having trouble logging into your drive, you can contact the party through whom you purchased your drive or Linmot directly for support. Thanks for watching.